Take down this. Take down with that. What is the period of a conical pendulum in a spring of length 40 cm? Makes an angle of 60 degrees. Semicolon. Compute the radius of the horizontal sector. Compute the radius of the horizontal sector. Compute the radius of the horizontal sector. Let's speak with the solution. Case 1, this style given parameters, please. What is the you're giving left? I'm giving left. Um, L, how many there? 40 cm. What else am I giving there? Angle. Number 2, I'm giving theta. How many there? 60 degrees. 60 degrees. They asked for two things. The first thing was, what is the period? Number 2, find the radius. Your task, convert L from cm to meter. I will divide this by 100. So it gives you what there? 0.4 meter. What is the period? So let's get, let's get the first part there. Period. So recall your formula. Recall that we said t is equal to 2 pi square root of m over g. I mean, what again there? Cos theta. Cos theta is going to give you an angle. Use cos theta. If there's no angle 2, just use all over g. So since we are given an angle theta, just recall the formula that says in good values, I will have that the period t is equal to 2 pi square root of L. L is this. That is 0.4 cos theta 60 degrees 60 all over g uh, gravity. Let's use 9.8 watts. So it's now equal to 2 pi square root of, please give me just one here. 0 0.4 cos 60 over 9.81. What do you have? 0 0.4 cos 60. 0 0.02. 0 0.02. 0 0.04. 0 0 Alright. That's equal to 2. Okay, just punch all of this. Punch all of this. T is equal to punch 2 pi this. Punch 2 pi this. 2 pi this. What do you get? 0.897 units seconds. That's all. The second part says find the radius. Radius of horizontal sector. Of horizontal sector. Which one do we use? R is equal to what there? L side theta. So R is equal to L is uh, 0 0.4. 0.4 sine theta is 60. So please give me 0 0.4 sine 60. What have you got? Sorry? 0 0.35 units meters. So it's that simple. A conical pendulum is equal to a conical pendulum of mass. 50 gram, a conical pendulum of mass 50 gram, 50 g, comma, length 40 cm, has a period of 0 0.5 seconds, and the speed of the particle, and the speed of the particle in its horizontal circular orbit and the speed of the particle in its horizontal circular orbit is 2.0 meter per second 2.0 meter per second full stop calculate the half angle of the code calculate the half angle of the code calculate the half angle of the code. Please help me list out given parameters. Mass. So I'm given number one the mass 
And how many there? 50 grams. 50 grams. What are there? Length. You mean length? 40 cm. What else? And give it period 0.5 seconds. What again there? And speed or velocity V equal to what there? Is that all? Yes. You have to find half angle. First of all, do conversion please. So divide this to meters, divide by 100 gives you 0 0.4 meters. Please convert this to kilogram. In kilogram, what do you get? Am I divided on the slide? By 1000. 0 0.1, right? Eh? 0 0.5 kg. So we have to find period. We know that period C, so we have to find half angle. Have it? We know that we call something. Recall that we said C is equal to 2 pi square root of L cos theta over what there? Eh? Uh, but here's the thing, please. Observe that in this formula, please, we, there's no M here. Is there M here? No. Is there V here? No. But check. Is a particular formula that involves all of this? Check. There's somewhere. Yes. Check. Is a particular formula that involves all of this? Which is that? I have that 0 0.5 is in that 0.5 is equal to 2 pi square root of L. L is what there? 0 0.4 cos yes. theta all over 9.81. So how do you get the speed? What's the first answer? Eh? Get this over what do you get? 0 0.5 is equal to 2 pi root. Get this value get 0 0.4 cos theta over 9.81. What do you get? Okay, hold on, hold on. Leave cos theta alone. Just give me 0 0.4 over 9.81. What do you get? 0 0.4 0 0 0 1. Please, carry on. So, how do I solve this? What do I do next? I will square squaring by square both sides 0 0.5 all squared is equal to 2 pi square root of 0 0.041 cos theta. This one here, all square. 0 0.05 so this one there. Eh? 0 0.25. 2 pi. Yes. 2 pi is equal to 2 square gives you 4. Pi square gives you pi square. For this one, the square root will cancel the square. So we call 0 0.041 cos theta. Please. Two so squares is equal. Four pi square. Sorry? Four pi square. Four pi square. I'm having this. This will now give you 0 0.25 equal to. Give me this and this number. What do you get there? 0 0.164. This and this. Yeah? Then pi square cos theta. This is correct, Abi? Yes. Let's get cos theta. Divide here by 0 0.164 pi square. Divide here by 0 0.164 pi square. So this one here will cancel this. Can you punch correctly? Divide here by 2 pi. Divide by 2 pi. 2 pi times 2 pi. 
Java will have two answer. So here now it becomes 0 0.5 squared, 0 0.25 is equal to this square is put them in here. 2 squared is 4. Pi squared is pi squared. For this one here, the square cancel square root sign. So you just let me get it. no square root here. So having this. From here now, take the numbers. 4 times this, 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16, 6 can be 1. 4 times 0 plus 1 is 1. But I'm so having this. Pi squared this. Divide this by this. That's it. Can you point square root for you, please? 0 0.25 divided by 4, 4 is equal to what there? From here, theta becomes cos inverse of 0 0.15 4, 4. Please be by this. 4.1? 1, 1, 5. That's 1, 2. Right, that's how you saw this picture. Right. What if you asked? What if you asked to find the angular velocity here? What would you do? Angular velocity. Yes. You say find the angular velocity here. What would you do? V is equal to the what? V is equal to the W. It's not W, it's omega. So what's V? What's omega? What's R? R is what? What's the What's the Alright, you can put that with the name. And say R is equal to what? Um, right? Right, right. So you, you have to find the omega. You can say from uh, analysis of um, circular motion in the last class, we said um, V, I mean, is equal to what there? Omega R. V is 2.0. How do let R? So R is equal to what there? L sine theta. So L is there, theta is here. Or you can simply say, we said this one here, that's a period, is equal to 2 pi R over V. Now here's the concept. If V is equal to Omega R, what's Omega here? Divided by R divided here by R. So we said omega is equal to V over R. If I invert them, this is over 1, so it becomes 1 over omega is equal to R over V. So this one here becomes 1 over omega. That means T is equal to 2 pi times 1 over omega. That's equal to 2 pi times 1 is too far.